G'day, Sambo here. Um, fiddling around with my solar system again. Got to make up some longer cable. I managed to pick up this 35mm square earth cable from the scrapyard. I actually managed to get a few metres of it. And I also managed to get some 2 volt forklift batteries. I'll show you those a little bit later on. I bought 24 of the 2 volt batteries. They're in a 48 volt battery pack from a forklift. Voltage is a little bit low. One of the batteries was absolutely dead. Mum and Dad got six of the batteries from me and I've got 12 hooked up in series parallel to give me nominal 12 volts at 1260 amp hours. So I'm going to hook that up to my 100 watt solar panel and my 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I've just made up some terminals. Just get some half inch copper tube, hammer it flat, drill a hole in it. and it's a near perfect fit for the 35mm cable I'm not soldering these because I've got a new gadget hydraulic crimping tool you can change the dies in it Made in China, I know. But the manufacturing industry is pretty much shot here in Australia. And it's our own fault as consumers. So it's pretty simple. Close the valve. Put the lug in there. And just start pumping away. 12 tonnes of pressure. Let's have a look at that. That is not coming off in a hurry. So anyway, I'll get on to the rest of these, then we'll get outside and see what's going on out there. Now all I've got to do, heat shrink on the lugs, so that I can tell the difference between positive and negative. Right, a little bit short on heat shrink at the right sizes. This will do. Not pretty, but it'll get the job done. Right, I've got the ca these cables hooked up to the battery bank and the inverter. Also made a few changes to my charge controller. I've put white um, heat shrink on, so I know which is the negative. As I said earlier, I'm short on bloody heat shrink in the right sizes. But I know what it is, that's the main thing. I do like to use red and black where possible. But otherwise, I just make do. There's my old 120 amp hour battery. Um, that's sitting there waiting for another project. So you can see now I've got 13.4 volts. We've got full sun today. So it's showing up some of the 
output from the solar panel as well. A thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. Another made in China mob. But it is actually pure sine wave. Does a fairly good job. The only drawback I've got, the positive and negative posts are too, deep, too close together for my liking. So I've got my negative up there on the left, positive on the right. 35 millimeter square cable. So I've got a 12 volt bank here. 12 volt bank here, hooked up in parallel. So normal to 12 volts, 1260 amp hours. Should be enough to keep my little fridge going and my water pump. I've only got the positive fused. It's 150 amp, you might be able to see it there. Yep, there you go, 150 amp blue C fuse. And it's just about right on midday, so I want to do a 24 hour test with the fridge and the water pump. 240 volt Grundfos pressure pump. That supplies the water for the house. And I've got my chest refrigerator. You should already have seen the, the video for that, but if you haven't, I'll put a link about here. All right, this test has been going for 24 hours. In the last half hour, it's come over fairly overcast. So the batteries are showing 12.7 volts, which I'm happy about. Let's have a look over here. 0.281 kilowatt hours. 281 watt hours. 23 hours and 55 minutes. Low usage of 4 watts. High usage, 1,030 watts. This is a 1,000 watt continuous power inverter. So really, I should be getting a, a bigger inverter. Um, that 1,030 watts, I do believe that that's from the um, evaporator coil heater on the fridge, freezer. I've been told they're fairly, fairly high current. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.